13th place. Hughes. Next comes a Coca-Cola Cup showdown with Nottingham Forest. A lovely ball to him from uh, Hughes. season West Ham ahead well, that was a wonderfully taken free kick a chance here and it's in Forrest have equalized there's a scrappy uh, bit of play from the West Ham defense Saunders it was who turned on it Turn at the far post brilliantly there. In the end, Forest have got one back. Bishop. Porfirio. Feeds Dowie. Dowie in with a chance for number two. He's done it. And it's Porfirio funny again. 55 minutes. West Ham back in the lead. There's a great through ball there. He didn't have much time to think, but a lovely finish from Ian Dowie. He scores his second of the night, and West Ham second. Well, it's for Forrest to come to West Ham, really. Drew just gains his confidence, it seems, every minute of the game he plays. Brian held off his man, uh, Monker got it. Dowie takes it, and Monker will get the rebound. Scott Gamble tried to take it through, but Bart Williams had already committed the foul. West Ham have a free kick. Slightly disappointing on free kicks this season, really, West Ham. Scored from uh, so many last year. Need to show a little more imagination this time. Well, there's one way, isn't it? Give it to Porfirio, he's the man who can do something. Dowie gets it from him. Porfirio's in here! Porfirio gave Crossley no chance, a fabulous left-footed shot right into the corner. West Ham 3, Nottingham Forest 1. A little more confidence about West Ham now, a little less dithering when they're on the ball. It's good to see. Bishop, much more of a playmaker this half. That's a long speculative ball which uh, Lazaridis may got on the end of. Looked like he was pulled over! Yes! Penalty, says David Ellery. Well, it was a good ball from Ian Bishop. Lazaridis got into a good position. And, well, Alfie Harland, who's really had an absolute nightmare tonight. It's about the first thing he's done in the game. Here he goes. It's four. And it's Julian Dick. Scoring goal number three. You've been coming, we've been playing well without sticking the chances away. And tonight we, we made lots of chances again, but we stuck them away and that was important for us. Now how about Hugo Perfirio? I imagine the press are going to be talking about him tomorrow. What do you think? Well, he's a special talent, isn't he? He's... I haven't seen a player, you know, who can do the things he is capable of doing for a long time. He's got that ability to go past two or three people and make things happen. He's got tremendous pace. He's a top-class player, you know, and uh, we've been, I've been chasing him for about nine months now, you know, and uh, so it's nice to get him here, and I think the fans, they love him, and uh, he's going to be a big star for West Ham. Well, let's, let's just um, think a little bit about Tony Cotty, who's kind of slipped out of everything, slipped very quietly out the back door, it seems, almost mm. to me. I mean, we heard his message over the tannoy tonight. Um, what were your thoughts on losing him? Well, I was disappointed to lose Tony. He's a, he's a good player and he's done a great job for the club, but, you know, the uh, Malaysian club came in and made an offer, you know, just around about the £800,000 mark, and that's the sort of money I need to buy Perfirio with, so obviously it was business we had to do. Um, you know, I'm, I didn't want to lose Tony. I've got a lot of respect for him. He's, he's again, done a great job for us. The year before last, his goals kept us up. Um, 
But you know, time to things, people move and people go, and then the game goes on, and that's how it is. You know, people come and go, and we all come and go, and eventually I'll go, and that's, that's <laughs> and West Ham goes on. You know, so yeah, he's done a great job while he was here. We well, are still here for Saturday, and, and okay. Blackburn. What do you think? <clears throat> Tough game. Blackburn, if you look at Blackburn, you'd say they were one of the strongest teams in the country, strongest squads in the country. Flowers, uh, Sherwood, Bohemian, you know, Sutton, five million pound, Gallagher, Scottish International, the outside right they bought from Greece, Wilcox, I mean, a magnificent squad of players. Gary Flickcroft, McKinney, who can't get in, you know, you, you go through them all, they're like it's all big stars and uh, they're rock bottom of the league. This ain't badly wrong, I don't know what it is, but. We've got to make sure on Saturday that uh, they've still got four points and that we've, we've pushed on and we've got 14 points and it would be a good week for us if we can do that.